Module 4, Lesson 7, Homework. Number 1, solve using a tape diagram. 1 fourth of 24. So let's first draw the tape diagram. And the whole here is going to be equal to 24. And we're going to split that into fourths. Now what we want to know is what one-fourth is, so that piece right there. So if we know that four units, these four units are, I'm going to write units, four units are equal to 24, then one unit would be one-fourth of that, or 24 divided by 4. And that's equal to 24 fourths, or 6. So 1 unit is equal to 6. B says 1 fourth of 48. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. And the whole thing here is equal to 48. So if we split that into four equal pieces, we want to know what just one fourth of it is. So f the four units that we have that we split that up into is equal to 48. So one unit would be equal to 48 divided by 4, which is equal to 48 fourths, and 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. So one unit is 12, or one fourth of 48 is 12. C, 2 thirds times 18. This time, something to notice is that our numerator is 2. So we're not just doing 1 third, we're doing 2 thirds. And the difference is we here we have a multiplication sign instead of of. Of is the same thing as a multiplication sign. So they're synonyms. So whenever you see of or times, you know you're multiplying. So we have 2 thirds of 18. Now the whole is 18, and we're going to break it in two thirds. This time we want to know what two thirds is. So three units is equal to 18. So one unit would be equal to 18 divided by 3, which is equal to 6. So if one unit is equal to 6, then two units would be 6 times 2, which is 12. So each of these are 6, so 2 thirds would be 12. 2 sixths times 18. My tape diagram, the whole thing is 18. We're splitting it into sixths. And we want to know 2 sixths. So if we have 6 units is equal to 18, then 1 unit is equal to 18 divided by 6, which is equal to 3. So then 2 units would be equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. So if each of these are 3, then 2 together would be 6. Part E, 3 sevenths times 49. So the whole is 49, and we're going to split it into sevenths. So we have 7 units that are equal to 49. So one unit would be equal to 49 divided by 7, which is 7. So, if we, And here we're looking for 3 sevenths, so we want to know 3 of them. So 3 units would be equal to 7 times 3, which is 21. So each of these are 7, and 3 sevenths of 49 is 21. 3 tenths times 120. So the whole thing 
here is 120 and we're breaking it into tenths so we want to know three tenths so if 120 is equal to 10 units then one unit would be equal to 120 divided by those 10 different pieces. So one unit is equal to 12, but then we want to know how many three tenths. So three units would be equal to 12 times three, which is 36. So each of these are 12, which makes three tenths of 120, 36. G, one third times 31. So the whole here is equal to 31, and we're going to split it into thirds. We want to know one third, so just that piece right there. So if three units is equal to 31, then one unit is equal to 31 divided by 3, or 31 thirds. Now 31 divided by 3, or 31 thirds, is 3 can go into 31 10 times, and we have one third left over. So each of these pieces would be 10 and one third. H two fifths times twenty. So the whole here is twenty. We're breaking it into five pieces. And we know that five units is equal to twenty. But we want to know how much two of those units are. So we can find one unit by doing 20 divided by 5, and 20 divided by 5 is 4, so 2 units, that would be 4 times 2, is equal to 8, so 2 fifths of 20 is 8. I, 1 fourth times 25. This whole thing here is 25, and we're going to break it into fourths. So 4 units is equal to 25. So 1 unit is equal to 25 divided by 4. I don't know what 25 divided by 4 off the top of my head is, but I do know that 25 divided by 5 is 4 is 25 fourths. And I can make that into a mixed number. 4 can go into 25 6 times, because 6 times 4 is 24, and then we have 1 fourth left over. So each piece here is 6 and 1 fourth, and we just want to know one piece. So 1 fourth times 25 is one, 6 and 1 fourth. J, 3 fourths times 25. Whole thing is 25. Break it into fourths. Now this goes with this one over here. We just did one fourth times 25 and we figured out that four units was equal to 25. One unit is 25 divided by four. So this part, we're trying to figure out three fourths. We know each part is six and one fourth, but we wanna know three parts. So we need to do three times six and one fourth, which is six and one fourth plus six and one fourth plus six and one fourth that would be equal to 18 plus 3 fourths, or 18 and 3 fourths. Okay, let's make sure, is that 3 fourths? Yeah. 3 fourths of a number is 27. What is the number? So here is a little bit different. We know that we have 
3 fourths of a number is equal to 27. So here's a little bit different in saying that what we know are these three units. We know that 3 units is equal to 27. So to figure out what each unit is, we can do 1 unit, break it down, would be equal to 27 divided by those three pieces. So 27 divided by 3 is 9. So in each of these are 9. So that is 27. So then this would also be 9, the fourth fourth. And 27 plus 9 is equal to 36. So 27 plus 9 equals 36. And L, 2 fifths of a number is 14. I'll use a different color because these are running together. Okay, so we have 2 fifths of a number is 14. So this part, 2 of them are 14. So 2 units equals 14. So 1 unit, we can figure that out by dividing by 2, is equal to 7. So we want to know what the number is. So if those 2 units are 7, then all of them are 7. And 7, 5 groups of 7, 7 times 5 is equal to 35. So the number is 35. Number two, solve using tape diagrams. A skating rink sold 66 tickets. Of these, two-thirds were children's tickets and the rest were adult tickets. What total number of adult tickets were sold? So two-thirds are children's tickets. The rest were adults, which means if we use two-thirds, that means that one-third were adult tickets. So let's draw a tape diagram. There are 66 tickets. it's broken up into thirds. We want to know adult tickets. We want to know what one third is. So we can say that's adult, children, children. We want to know what this piece is. So we can do three units. All three of them would be equal to 66. One unit would be equal to 66 divided by three. And 66 divided by 3 is equal to 22. So each of these would be equal to 22. And so they sold um, 22 adult tickets. B, a straight angle is split into two smaller angles as shown. The smaller angle's measure is one-sixth that of a straight angle. What is the value of angle A? So here's angle A, and then here's the smaller angle. The smaller angle is one-sixth of that of a straight angle. Now, we here need to know that a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. If we don't know that, we're not going to get anywhere. So. The smaller angle is 1 sixth, so the larger angle would be 5 sixths. Together they are 6 sixths. So the entire thing is equal to 180. Let's split it into 6. So angle A is equal to 5 sixths, so all of them except for the last one. We want to know. So we can say that 6 units is equal to 180. So 1 unit is equal to 180 divided by 6. And 118 divided by 6 is 3. So 180 divided by 6 would be equal to 30. So if 1 unit is equal to 30, 5 units would be equal to 30 times 5 which is 150 degrees. So each piece here is 30 degrees. And we went all the way up to 5, 6 to find angle A. C. Annabelle and Eric made 17 ounces of pizza dough. 
They used five eighths of the dough to make a pizza and used the rest to make calzones. What is the difference between the amount of dough they used to make pizza and the amount of dough they used to make calzones? So they used five eighths to make pizza and the rest, three eighths, is five eighths plus three eighths is eight eighths to make calzones. So let's draw that. They have 17 ounces and we are going to split that into eighths. So they use five eighths for pizza. So let's call these five eighths for pizza and three eighths for calzones. Let's first figure out what one unit would be. So we know that all eight units is equal to the 17 ounces. So one unit would be 17 divided by eight or 17 eighths. That we can make into a mixed number, which eight can go into 17 two times, because two times eight is 16. We'd have one eighth left over. So each unit is two and one eighth. So let's figure out how much they used for pizza. There are two different ways to do it. Actually, let's do it this way. So we know for calzones, they used three pieces, three eighths. For pizza, they used five eighths. So we could cancel out the five eighths. So what's left here is the difference of how much they made, they used. So they, the difference in what they used would be 2 8 and 1 8 plus 2 and 1 8, which would be equal to 4 and 2 8 or 4 and 1 4. So the difference is 4 and 1 4 ounces. Another way you could have done it would be to add 2 and 1 8 plus 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 2 and 1 8 and find 5 8 and then add another. 2 and 1 8 plus 2 and 1 8 plus 2 and 1 8 and find out the calzones and then subtract to find the difference. That's another way to do it. And part D. The New York Rangers hockey team won three-fourths of their games last season. If they lost 21 games, how many games did they play in the entire season? All right, so let's see. They won three-fourths, which means they lost one-fourth. So the whole is something that we don't know. We don't know the whole, but we do know that they lost one fourth of their games, which was 21 games. So if one fourth is 21, then each of these pieces are also 21 games. So what we can do is either do 21 times four, or you could add 21 plus 21 plus 21 plus 21, and you'll get 84 games.